All tank up roll is Ken Peach out there with this interstate aircraft. Now we said this is a warbird. The interstate cadet was a warbird. The first airplane shot upon by the Japanese in Pearl Harbor, December 7, 1941. Actually, it's been very cool to fly the airplane with a suit for John Rogers Airfield. The interstate cadet was the same one as he's flying for his family. That was shot at, at Pearl Harbor. Now that airport, that the John Rogers Airfield later became Now what? Ken is going to head towards this afternoon. He's going to take this interstate aircraft. Now it came out of the factory 65 horse Continental front up. Ken has repowered the aircraft with a 90 horse Continental engine in it. We saw a performance kind of routine earlier this afternoon. He's got the aileron back on the airplane. And Mark Payne is out there somewhere with the airport on the runway. That's right, he's sitting over with the airport on the runway. He's got a couple airbags for us, and he'll attempt to land, and he's going to say the airport's on top. Oh. Yeah. It does work.
Cats going to make sure the mark's out there. Marcus Payne, the pilot of the scrimmage of all the line early this morning. Be back later in the program in just a few minutes with Carol Blaine on top of the aircraft. He is driving the motor home for Cat this afternoon. That's Cat pulls up left hand side of the box. Hard left hand hand turn of the aircraft. Brings it right back down to Air Show Center. We can't see the airport on the runway end right now, but I trust it's out there. I'm sure Mark's Payne's got it out there somewhere. Yes, I'll tell him to accelerate, make it one pass that one without the airport. I'm not sure. No, but it's rolling. I see it. I can fly just above the team airport on top of the runway. Come up behind the fuel tanks out there, behind the fuel building. You're going to see the mother home on that one. Catch the river's way up now. Mark has got to hold that airport out of that 40 to 45 mile an hour. He takes his aircraft down, saying the flies are under fresh means on top of that ramp. He's going on top of the motor home. Now he's got chocks in the front. Try to roll the air in drop it down to the chocks. See, nose drop down to the second. He's working rudders. He cannot see the actual motor home itself underneath them at all. He's looking at the side of the motor watching his name here in the side of the ramp on top of the motor home. Now he's got to try to talk to Mark and his hey, a little faster next time, maybe. Turn around, make another 10 bet. He had it on. Not sure he's going to get it stopped. The wind, why does the wind pick up when he tries this? He got it yesterday. He had it on there. had a plan, but it looked kind of unstable. But he said, nope, nope, not safe. Not going to leave it. Now as Mark Payne accelerates the airport down the runway. Get his buzz up, flies around him. Mark's going to take the air, airport back down the far end of the and tip this car top landing one more time, folks. Now, the hardest job going on at it is. Communications where I'm out the driver of the motorhome. Now, Mark has got to hold that motorhome nice, steady, 40 to 45 mile an hour as Ken works his way up to the airport. Now, he works his way up, he looks out the side of the airplane, he can see the main gear of his aircraft, but he can't really see the airport below him. What he'll do is fly just off the side of the airport, roll the airplane up alongside, work his way over, watch the main gear. He's got less than a foot clearance on either side of the main wheels of that airplane with the ramp on top of the airport. Once he's got the things on, he'll add a little bit of power. Hope Mark holds a nice steady speed for him. Mark, as Kent will fly the airplane up through the chart. Now, I try to get the airplane stuck. You've got to make sure that Mark holds the airspeed with ground speed for Kent. And Kent's got to hold the airspeed. He needs to stay on top of the motor hole. If Mark hits the brakes, Kent's going to go right off the front. If Kent pulls the power back too fast, and Mark has to slow down fast enough, Kent's going to roll off the back of the motor hole. So it's a, a series of precision maneuvers, doesn't look like, but a lot of precision maneuvers to keep this airplane on top of the motor home. He's got the wheels up and down, playing in the chops of front. We'll watch the gusts out there, watch how hard he's working the harder back before to keep the airplane on top. He may say no, it's a little too gusty out there to keep leader on. The airplane will fly about 30 miles an hour. He's going to try it one more time since so not hooked in. He's not satisfied with how stable it is on top of the airport.
All right, one more time for Ben Beach up there in that interstate aircraft. I get a warbird. It may not look like, but it is a warbird aircraft. And Jelly Belly, of course, his spots are all down the side of the airplane, all over his hat. He's been having Jelly Belly tap at the lodging hall all weekend for us. Everybody's put on about three pounds eating Jelly Belly, but they are good. All the multiple flavors that Jelly Belly has out there, but it's a, man, I gotta love that this is a Warburn airplane, and I'm flying at the military station, he loves that. The only air strip before that, though, that actually loses an airline during its routine. He's rolling and looping the airplane. All right, Mark's got the airport rolling down the runway. Kent's got the airplane planted on top of the building. Looks pretty good. He's looking hard down that right main gear, making sure he's where he needs to be. Get it up, plant it down the chops. He's going to try working in there. He's banning the works down there to market, making sure it's a place. He says, no, I'm not going to leave it on there. Not working the way he wants it to, so the safety will become more priority of all our pilots. See, he says, no, we're going to bring it off. That's why we call it car top of tent. But he did get the airplane on top of the motorhome. So it was successful to get the airplane stopped and the motorhome stopped while the aircraft was on top of the motorhome. That's Mr. Ken Peach and the interstate aircraft that Mark's paint out there driving the motorhome down the airport runway for us today. Taxi at the front of the Northeast Raiders of the Athletic Field, Anzac CJ6 aircraft. 